Today we embark on an extraordinary journey exploring the profound and intricate connection between quantum physics and Advaita Vedanta. Prepare to be as astounded as we unveil the secrets that bridge these two seemingly different domains. Before we go ahead, let us briefly understand the subjects at hand. Quantum physics, the branch of physics that unravels the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It peels back the layers of reality, revealing a fascinating and counterintuitive world governed by the laws of quantum mechanics. In this realm, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. teleport across vast distances and become mysteriously entangled on the other hand is advaita vedanta a philosophy rooted in the ancient wisdom of india it is considered as one of the most profound and comprehensive paths to spiritual enlightenment it explores the nature of reality consciousness and the concept of self advaita vedanta asserts that the true essence of reality is non dualistic transcending the boundaries of time space and individual identities this teaching comes directly from the vedas which are thousands of years old and is considered as the highest knowledge by the hindus now let's dive deep into the intricacies of the connection between these two realms quantum physics and advaita vedanta share several profound and awe inspiring concepts that bridge the gap between science and spirituality One of the key ideas is the notion of non-duality. So this will be the first concept for us to look at. Non-duality emphasized in Advaita Vedanta proclaims that everything in the universe is interconnected and ultimately emerges from a single source. It posits that the apparent multiplicity and diversity of the world are mere illusions, concealing the underlying unity. Similarly in quantum physics The concept of entanglement reveals a hidden web of interconnectedness. Once particles become entangled, their states become intrinsically linked, regardless of the physical distance separating them. This profound interconnectedness suggests that separateness is an illusion, blurring the line between observer and the observed. The second concept, another captivating connection lies in the role of consciousness. Advaita Vedanta regards consciousness as the core essence of existence the very fabric from which all reality arises it points that consciousness is not limited to individual minds but permeates the entire cosmos quantum physics in its exploration of the observer effect demonstrates the influence of consciousness on the behavior of particles The famous double slit experiment which we will look at more in detail at the end of this video showcases that particles when unobserved behave as waves of probability existing in a superposition of states however when observed the act of measurement collapses the wave function forcing the particle to manifest as a definite entity this suggests a profound interplay between the conscious observer and the observed world You will understand this when we put it in a simpler language at the end of this video. The third concept, Maya in Advaita Vedanta bears striking similarities to the phenomenon of superposition in quantum physics. Maya refers to the illusory nature of the world, highlighting that what we perceive as solid and separate is in fact an ever-changing and transient appearance. It emphasizes that our limited senses and conditioned minds create a veil of illusion that shrouds the true nature of reality. Similarly, superposition in quantum physics suggests that particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until the act of observation collapses them into a single state. This parallel invites us to question the solidity and permanence of the material world. ultimately leading us to a deeper understanding of the illusory nature of our reality now let us delve deep into the implications of this connection quantum physics challenges our conventional understanding of reality inviting us to explore the frontiers of consciousness and existence it shatters the newtonian world view where the universe is seen as a collection of separate objects 
and instead presents a holistic perspective where everything is interconnected it encourages us to realize that our perceptions and interpretations of the world are shaped by consciousness advaita vedanta provides a profound framework for understanding this mysteries uncovered by quantum physics it invites us to a journey inward exploring the depths of our consciousness and realizing our innate connection to the universe through self inquiry and contemplation advaita vedanta teaches that our true nature is that of pure consciousness free from the limitations of time space and individual identities as time and space do not have any actual existence it guides us toward the direct experience of non duality where the boundaries between the observer and the observed dissolve leading to a state of profound unity now let us look at the double slit experiment which lies at the heart of the connection between quantum physics and advaita vedanta this experiment was first conducted in early 19th century it continues to baffle scientists and philosophers alike it reveals the profound influence of consciousness on the behavior of particles and in turn the universe it challenges our fundamental understanding of reality now let us understand what the double slit experiment is this experiment involves shining a beam of particles such as electrons or protons through a barrier with two slits behind the barrier a screen awaits which records the pattern of particles that reach it now here is where it gets truly mind bending you can understand this simply in this way imagine a barrier with two slits in it and imagine a gun which is shooting tennis balls at those slits now since these tennis balls are just matter and they are objects what we can expect to find on the screen on the other side of the barrier is the markings or impressions of those balls creating two distinct bangs but this is not what actually happens when the experiment is conducted with particles being fired through the slits one by one one would expect to observe two distinct bands on the screen corresponding to the two slits however what actually happens is that an inference pattern emerges a series of alternating dark and light bands reminiscent of waves interfering with each other so particles are behaving like waves this was what puzzled physicists in the beginning this phenomenon indicates that particles despite their individual nature exhibit wave like behavior it suggests that each particle simultaneously passes through both slits interfering with itself and creating an interference pattern on the screen this implies that particles possess a wave particle duality existing in multiple states until observed basically what is happening here is that particles are not behaving like matter they are behaving like waves instead of two simple bands appearing on the screen as expected what we are getting on the screen is an interference pattern of the waves now this is where this experiment gets interesting as soon as a conscious observer comes into picture and starts observing these particles one by one to see through which slit it goes through in order to cause the interference pattern and to observe how the electron or proton behaves when they pass through the slits it immediately starts behaving as expected in the beginning and it creates a pattern of two bands on the screen So this is why it is interesting when a conscious observer is not there to observe the experiment and to observe the point in time when the electrons or protons move through those slits the interference pattern of a wave is formed but as soon as a conscious observer comes into the picture and a person or an instrument is kept in place to record how the electrons or protons will move within the slit in order to cause that interference pattern the electron is changing its behavior to behave like a particle and it is causing a different interference pattern as though it knows that someone is observing it the tiny electron or a proton which is microscopic 
is behaving in a way that it knows that someone is consciously observing it another way to put this is that the experiment demonstrates that the act of observation collapses the wave function causing the particles to manifest as definite entities and erasing the interference pattern in other words the observer's consciousness influences the behavior and manifestation of particles now this has deep resonances with advaita vedanta which regards consciousness as fundamental essence of existence according to advaita vedanta consciousness is not limited to individual minds but permeates the entire cosmos it is the fabric from which the reality arises the double slit experiment suggests that consciousness plays a vital role in shaping the behavior of particles and nature of reality itself furthermore the experiment also raises questions about the nature of perception and the illusory nature of the material world vedanta teaches that our senses and conditioned minds create a veil of illusion known as maya which shrouds the true nature of reality Similarly double slit experiment reveals that our perceptions of particles as solid separate entities is an illusion in truth particles possess a wave like nature existing in a superposition of states until observed so the very act of observation is creating a particle as we conclude this journey it is essential to emphasize that the connection between quantum physics and advaita vedanta is not about merging the two fields or reducing one to the other rather it invites us to explore the parallels ask profound questions and deepen our understanding of the nature of reality the purpose of this video is to encourage a holistic approach to knowledge where scientific inquiry and spiritual insight converge offering us a more comprehensive understanding of the cosmos and our place within it and also it is important to note that these vedic teachings are thousands of years old and it is fascinating to see how the teachings which are thousands of years old has come to the same conclusions as our modern science and quantum physics have come in the recent years make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and i'll see you on the next video